Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scrand Line I'm going to show you how to make tiramisu. Now this isn't a traditional Italian recipe for tiramisu because it doesn't have mascarpone cheese in it. Instead I'm going to be putting a really nice chocolate custard inside so it's really great for your chocolate lovers out there. So let's get started, I'm going to show you what ingredients we're going to need. Um, here I've got some milk with some uh, sugar and some instant coffee powder. I've got some custard powder here. I've got milk in a saucepan, so we're going to be ready for the custard. In here I've got some chocolate and some butter that I've melted. Uh, sugar for the custard and then sugar again that we're going to put in later. And here I've got sponge figure biscuits. Now these ones you can just pretty much get anywhere. Um, and that's what we're going to use for the tiramisu today. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to put the milk onto to the stove. Now, um, what we want to do is we're going to put our sugar in there and give that a bit of a mix. Next, we're going to put in our custard powder. Just put that in slowly because it's very, very messy. Now, it doesn't really matter if there's any lumps because I'm going to put this into a food processor so we're going to get it really, really nice and smooth. And it comes out really beautiful. So we're going to give that a bit of a go. See, it's very messy. We're going to give that a stir nice and gently. So we can mix that all in. So this recipe has the uh, classic tiramisu flavours. So for those of you who don't know what a tiramisu is, it's an Italian dessert and it's basically like a layered cake type thing, almost like a trifle. So traditionally it has mascarpone cheese in it, but that's just that's not how I make it. I don't make it with mascarpone cheese. Um, and the, the flavours of a tiramisu, or a traditional one, are coffee and chocolate and uh, in this one I'm going to put cream on top so you still get the cream out there and um, yeah so it's still got the flavours in there but it's nice and chocolatey so it's a really nice dessert to make if you want to impress someone so now I can feel that it's starting to thicken at the bottom so we need to keep stirring this so make sure it doesn't burn now I've got this on high um, but you probably want to have yours on medium or medium high because you don't want it to burn and this happens very quickly so I can feel now that that's thickening very quickly I'm going to start noticing big lumps in there and that's okay because like I said we're going to put it in the food processor and it's going to come out nice and smooth and you can see the lumps in there, it kind of looks like the wrong See, nice, it happens very quickly, so you need to keep stirring and it'll and it's done. So we'll turn that off. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're going to let this cool down a little bit and I'll show you what we need to do next. So we're going to grab our food processor. So that's the chocolate and the butter that I've melted together. It's going to give us our chocolate custard. Now don't forget you guys can check out my Facebook page, The Screen Line, and I'll put the links down below. And I've also got uh, the recipe for this is going to be on the blog and I've got the link down for that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our sugar so we've got that in there, so we're just going to give it a quick mix. Okay, so with this custard, we just want to put it in a little bit at a time. So you can see it's really, really lumpy. You can see that in there. But just keep at it and it smoothens out. Okay, we can see in there it's nice and beautiful and smooth. 
I'm just going to get these edge bits. So I don't want any bits of yellow custard in there. So I want those to mix in there nicely. That's probably at this point before you um, before you put it in the tiramisu, you want to check if it's too sweet. If it's too sweet, you're probably going to need to make more custard up um, and add it in there, or maybe add some cocoa to kind of even out that sweetness. Okay, look at how beautiful and smooth that is. We've done the custard now, and what we can do after what we'll do after this is the cream. So that's going to go on top, and then we can put it all together. So, like all tiramisu, we we're going to soak the biscuits in the coffee um, and milk mixture that I showed you guys. That's what's going to give it its coffee flavour. Okay, so that is our chocolate custard. And what we want to do is we want to cover this with glad wrap right on top of the custard so that the custard doesn't develop a skin. And put it in the fridge, at least till it cools down a little bit because you don't want to put it in the tiramisu while it's warm because we're going to put cream on top and that's not going to agree with the cream. Okay guys, so we've let our chocolate custard cool down a little bit. Um, we're going to whip our cream up so we can have it ready for when we're putting all of this together. Now it's very important to not over whip because if you over whip cream you turn it into butter. We're going to put a little bit of cream, actually put a cream in now. Not too much because with cream, um, if you put sugar in it, you only need a little bit. If you put too much, it becomes too sweet. There we go now. Okay. So it's really important with cream to keep it really, really nice and cold. Otherwise, it's going to go kind of like it's going to kind of melt and it's not going to be good and plus we're going to be piping this on top of the tiramisu which I'm going to show you how to do in a sec but we're going to put this in the fridge and then we're going to put the tiramisu then I'm going to show you how to pipe them. Okay guys it's now time to put it all together we've done our custard we've got our cream in the fridge so it stays cold and what we're going to do is uh, with sponge finger biscuits usually one side of it has um, sugar and the other side doesn't have sugar so what we want to do is we want to soak these just like we don't want to soak them too much just like enough so that the coffee milk gets inside the biscuit but if you soak it too much you're going to have a runny mess and there's going to be liquid and it's not going to be very nice so what we want to do is we just want to dunk it in let it drip off a little bit and the sugar side of the biscuit is going to be facing down. Now I'm doing it in a container because like I said before we usually uh, make this in bulk and we're either taking it somewhere or we put it, it's nice and easy to put in the fridge, you can cover it, no problems. And you could put this, uh, you could make it in like a trifle um, bowl or something like that if you really wanted to go for presentation but with this we just serve it in plates so people don't really see where it's coming from okay so we've got our first layer of biscuits down and what we want to do is we've got our cool down custard which I did cover with plastic before but then I took it off like an idiot and developed just just a very thin skin but that's okay try to avoid that if you can Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put our chocolate custard down on top of the biscuits. And we're going to spread it evenly. Now there's always too much custard and kids love this custard. My brother loves this custard. I think everyone loves this custard. It's nice and smooth and...
Now, you don't really want to make, well, you can make as many layers of this as you want, but you better keep in mind it's going to be really, really tall. And I, today I'm just going to put one layer of custard. I'm going to put biscuits like I did, then custard, and then biscuits, and then we're going to put our cream on top. So we just want to make sure that goes to the sides, all the way to the edges. I'm just not going to put it all over it, but we want to spread it as evenly as we can. Okay, we've got our custard in there now. We're going to put our second layer of biscuits. Make sure that the sugar side of the biscuit is facing down. Perfect. Okay guys, now that we've got our tiramisu finished, or well, it's not finished yet, but we've got all the, the layers except for the cream on, we're ready to put the cream on. So what I was going to do is uh, I'm going to pipe it on. So what I've got here is just a tall jar and I've got a piping band. I've just got a star nozzle on there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in here because it's nice and easy to hold your bag up while you put whatever you want to put in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our cream in. Now you've got to work quickly with cream because like I said before you want it to stay nice and cold. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze any air bubbles out. And um, keep in mind as well that your hands are warm and they're going to well, the, the warmth from your hands is going to transfer through to the cream. So that's why it needs to stay cold and you need to work quickly. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys how I'm going to pipe it. I'm just going to pipe like that. Okay, we're done. We've got our cream on. And what I'm going to do to finish it off is I'm just going to grate some nice chocolate on top. Now you don't have to do this. Um, you could put some coffee beans on it. I've seen people do. I, I don't know. That's not. I wouldn't do that. But um, or you could put some cocoa powder. There we go. Chocolate on there. Okay, so that is the tiramisu. Now, I don't know if you can see, but we've got the layers there. We've got the biscuit, we've got the custard, the biscuit again, and then we've got the cream, and we finish it off with some nice uh, grated chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick taste, but what you should really do is leave this in the fridge overnight so it all sets and it's beautiful, nice and cold. That's the best way to have it. Now I'm just going to have a little bit of the edge. Just to give it a taste. Mmm. That's really delicious. So, you get all your sweetness, or well, most of the sweetness, from the custard in this. And the biscuit is soaked in the coffee, so that's what gives you a coffee flavour. And then the, the cream doesn't have too much sugar on top, uh, in it. So it's not too sweet, and that's what kind of breaks the sweetness. So it's all evened out, there's creaminess, there's nice smoothness, the biscuits aren't hard because they're soaked in the, the milk with the coffee. And it's all one big beautiful, beautiful cake. And so that's my recipe for tiramisu. I hope you guys like this video. Now, like I mentioned before, go to my Facebook page. The link is going to be down below. And you can find the recipe for this on my uh, my blog that's where I'll have the recipe for this and I'll put the link for that down below as well so I hope you guys like this video and uh, there's going to be plenty more videos coming and thanks for watching make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my page stay tuned for more guys